Hello there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and theloopylamb.com and thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change yarn colors in crochet. Now before we get started I want to cover a few things it, and that is this is the basic method for changing colors that you'll, you, you'll find used in most crochet projects. There are more advanced color changes that you can learn but this is the absolute basic most universal color change that is used. Secondly, it doesn't matter if your color change happens at the end of the round, end of the row, end of the round, in the middle of the round or the row, or if you're working in spirals versus rows, the color change is the same, right? And so I'm going to walk you through the changing colors. I'm going to show it to you in three basic stitches so you really get an idea of seeing it done in the basic stitches so you feel confident changing colors. So if you're ready to get started, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. In crochet patterns, a color change will be indicated before the first full stitch is done in that color. And so I'll show you what that means. So let's say that my crochet pattern says that I'm supposed to work six single crochets and then change colors. All right, so here I've got my five single crochets and if I wanted to change colors, I would start my sixth single crochet in that old color. So I'll yarn over and pull up a loop. I've got two loops on my hook and then when you change colors you use the last yarn over of that stitch to bring in the new color. So with a single crochet I'm on my last yarn over so I would bring, drop my old color here and bring in the new color. When you bring in the new color you're just going to lay it over your hook like it is the yarn over. You want to make sure that you have a yarn tail of at least four to six inches left here so that way you can weave your ends in later. If it's too short it could um, cause to unravel and you don't want that. So we've got our last yarn over just laid over the hook like this. I like to hold that yarn with my left hand to help keep it keep tension on it and then you're just going to pull it through those last two loops of your stitch and then you can continue to crochet in your new color. So let's do that first stitch just so you can see. All right, and then now the reason I was doing that because I wanted to show you that the tension in your last stitch might get a little wonky and that's totally normal. Don't be alarmed by that. What you can do is just pull your, the yarn tail from your old color and pull that until it's much closer to what the tension of the rest of your stitches in that row are. All right, so now we've done a single crochet color change and I'll show you how to do it with half double crochet. So again when we change colors we use the last yarn over of the stitch to bring in the new color. So to do a half double crochet we'd yarn over and work into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now at this point we have one yarn over left to complete our stitch so we drop the old color, bring in the new color, and then pull that new color through the stitch. And again see I'm going to pull that yarn in the back for the old color to firm up my stitch or tighten up my stitch. And then I can continue to crochet in whatever stitch comes next. All right so let's do this with double crochet. I'm going to work that half double just so we've got a little bit more height here. And so when we're changing colors in double crochet we're going to yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the first two loops. So now we're at the point where we are at our last yarn over. We'll drop the old color, yarn over with the new color, and then pull that through the last two loops on our hook to complete our stitch. So a lot of people ask me when they're changing colors what do I do with all the yarn ends especially if they're dealing with multiple different colors in the same project. So I always recommend that you weave in the ends. I know that's not everyone's favorite. However, it is the best way to ensure that your project is as secure as possible. I will admit that I do crochet over my ends, but I only do that for short distances. So in this case, when I just did my color change, I would crochet over the tail for probably about two stitches. And the reason I do that, and I'll show you here, is because now the yarn tails are secure in the back and I don't have to worry about them coming out after doing my color change. So I'll usually crochet over the tails for about two stitches making sure that the yarn tails are on the back of my project and then I'll weave in the rest of the yarn tail. If you crochet over them for long distances it can show through your work or it could potentially come unraveled. So it's totally up to you what way that you prefer 
but I do highly recommend taking the time to weave in your ends. So that's it. That's how you change colors in crochet. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. If you like free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylam.com, where I've got lots of free crochet patterns, many of which have step-by-step -step video tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.